Oh, boys will be boys. I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase. Whoa, speaking of working, check out that sweet piece. It's actually in the dictionary. It's a term used to express the view that mischievous or childish behavior is typical for a boy or a young man, and that it shouldn't be a surprise when it occurs. Well, I think this is total and I'm gonna tell you why. Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman and welcome to another episode of Dad University. We cover a different topic every Thursday, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. I'm sure there are numerous situations in which the phrase boys will be boys can be applied. Maybe two young kids aggressively wrestling or a young boy with a really messy room and bad hygiene or maybe a teenage boy who plays pranks on unsuspecting strangers. It's typically about rowdiness and recklessness. When people say it, they're attempting to justify why boys or young men act in these ways. But for today, I want to focus on male behavior towards women. Now, we've got a lot of attention on these topics right now. There's lawsuits, uh, people going to jail, political wars, and more. We did a previous video called Eight Life Lessons That Every Dad Should Teach His Son, which I would recommend you watch that with your son. But one of the life lessons that we talked about was treating others with respect. It is crucial as a man and as a father that you teach your son how to treat other people in a positive way. If you don't have this one down, you need to do some work. Let's look at a couple of scenarios. You're driving in your car with your 10 year old son and you stop at a stoplight. Three young women cross the street in front of you and you see that your son is sort of staring at them. So you make a comment about how they look. While you might think you didn't say anything inappropriate, you just taught your son that it's perfectly okay to judge a woman's appearance. Now, you might not be able to stop yourself from thinking it, but you can stop yourself from saying it. So don't say anything. Here's another scenario. Your shy teenage son is up in his room on a weekend night. You go up to his room and you say, hey, what are you doing here? Why don't you go out and get yourself some? This totally objectifies women as if there's something to conquer for ourselves. Sure, teenage boys will often have raging hormones, but maybe having a discussion about how to strike up a conversation with someone could be a little bit more valuable. What you're hearing in these examples is that we can say things to our sons without really understanding the impact that it has on their perception and ultimately their treatment of women. You may also experience situations in which your son says or does something that's not okay. It's very important that you point these situations out and then together come up with solutions on how it could be handled better. By you not doing anything, you are saying that it's acceptable. Even when they are young and before any sex talk, you should be having ongoing dialogue with them about appropriate behaviors and how to communicate properly and even sexual harassment. Of course, there's going to be variances on what people feel is appropriate. But if we start our sons off right from a very young age, we are going to drastically reduce the negative impact that these kinds of situations have on our society. I'd love to hear from you. Do you think it's okay for boys to be boys? I'm sure you have an opinion. Leave your feedback in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on that notification bell, and share this video on social media. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.